Hi, my name is John Eason from Fishtech, and we're back at Inanda today, and we're looking at the high-frequency downscan image of by Lawrence. It's also in the Mark V X range with the mono screen, but the big difference here is with the downscan imaging is the 455 and the 800 kilohertz. We're going to go straight off the bat with the unit straight out of the box, no settings, make no changes whatsoever, and we're going to go over the simulated course, exactly the same course as what we used for the Mark V X Pro. With the 283 kilohertz. Keep in mind the 283 kilohertz is a cone shaped sound wave if you remember our theory that we did some weeks back whereas the down scan imaging is a beam. Just imagine like a Chinese fan just going and scanning across the water. We should get a much higher definition on, on things like the brush pile. You're gonna have to keep your eyes peeled for the fish though. The fish has been represented by the two pound, what we call the two pound tennis ball test. Basically the volume of the tennis ball is representing a one kilo fish. Okay, we've started off here in about 14 feet of water. I've got 800 kilohertz on the left and I've got 455 kilohertz on my right. Now watch very carefully as we approach the marker with the tennis ball attached to it. This is important to remember. That tiny, tiny little dot that's just passing there, that is what a one kilogram fish is going to look like. So downscan imaging, yes, it is going to find fish. It is going to show you fish, but it's not represented by that nice big arch like your cone-shaped sound wave. But having said that, just look at the definition of our structure now, of our cover. That brush pile, you can just about see every little branch coming off the brush pile. And as we drop into the, the river channel here, you can see your thermocline at 30 feet on both frequencies, on the 800 as well as the 455. The reason why you can see it on the 800 as well as the 455 is because it's a, it's a beam with a very narrow angle from front to back, but you've still got the wide coverage area like you do with the cone. 